Hey there, YouTubers. It's me again. This is a um, continuation <clears throat> of my School of Tomorrow theme in a way. First of all, let me introduce myself, Kirby Erner, and some of the artifacts in my personal workspace. This is, you may not see the whole thing, but it's called Barrel Tower. And this is a Kenneth Snelson original. I was his first webmaster. I was also the first webmaster for the Buckminster Fuller Institute. Um, Kiyoshi and I snagged BFI.org before it got snap up by, snapped up <clears throat> by somebody else. There's not very many three-letter permutations of like the 26 Latin characters on the U.S. keyboard. Those went quickly as far as domain names. And let's see, the vector equilibrium because or Jitterbug, because Glenn, again, I wanted to thank uh, thank him for getting those dowels at Village Merchant. That's a nearby sort of uh, recycling store. It's amazing how exactly what he needs shows up there. He knew he wanted 8-inch dowels, and there weren't any, and he comes back another day, and kabam. So uh, on to the screen here. Uh, what we I've, – I've explained how – School of Tomorrow is science fiction, so I use it internally as a use case. So like, here I am, like a science fiction writer, and here's what I use, these various tools like NumPy and so forth, to create this curriculum for um, School of Tomorrow. Now, in actual fact, I work for Coding with Kids, which is teaching middle school age people how to do Python and stuff. And so that's more like on the ground school of tomorrow, but of course I don't call it that. I do work for a different company for that, right? And it's like Oregon Curriculum Network is like a think tank where I pioneer my own curriculum and then I also have gigs where I go to New York or whatever and teach, you know, NumPy or whatever. It's not like I'm the supermaster of NumPy. I went to Baltimore and I got to teach the uh, instrumentation crew. You could call it a crew. They stay on the ground for the Hubble Space Telescope. These aren't the people who went up and repaired at that time. And they were kind of um, bummed when I got there because they were on pins and needles about if their funding was going to get approved, and it was the 20th birthday of the Hubble. There was an IMAX movie. I went to it. Very few people Space shuttle, last one was landing, very few people. Uh, public support for space stuff had died to a very low degree. However, when I was there, also they got their funding that cycle, and there was a party, and it was all upbeat. So I was only there for two or three days sharing Python. I was very pleased to meet these folks, very, very good people. Okay, and Stack Overflow. So these are the kinds of websites we're going to go to as we try to develop any curriculum, right? So this is some open source chemistry I've been looking at. By open source, I mean it's okay to like share this. And so in this science fiction school of tomorrow I'm working on, you'll see under, uh, let's see, where do we have that? I don't actually have that showing. So here's what you can do in Jupyter Labs. You can jump around inside your own computer and find all the, like i got to look around here because I'm talking straight into the computer. So I'm going to drill down to the School of Tomorrow, which is no more than a subfolder connected by Git, right, to GitHub. So when I update it locally on localhost, I can then push it up to the web for others. So it's isotope decay is what I wanted to show you. And I could look at it through NB Viewer or whatever, but let's just take a look here and uh, I'll wind the video up here. But you see I'm interspersing some of the open source chemistry content from Canada as HTML. And then I'm interspersing computation showing the same materials, but this time using Jupyter Notebook and its tools, its sister tools, matplotlib, everything the Pythonistas take for granted. It's a wealthy ecosystem. And so I'm duplicating some of the graphics, and I'm going on to different isotopes, right? So we definitely need a public that hears and thinks about isotopes. 
we can't just drop that out of the literature. So, you know, again, this is a science fiction academy for a school of one, you could say, if you remember the movie at all. I haven't even read the book yet, but I'm told it's good and goes into more psychological depth. And I think Granny's more of a fascist in the book. She's just a kindly old lady in the movie. Anyway, remember, I've got this glossary, and you can download it. Anything you want that you see here that you want, come get it. And uh, we'll be talking soon. I just wanted to give you a picture of what my work day is like. So I was in you know, California as a middle school teacher, tele teleteacher. I didn't leave this place. And then tonight I get to do the same thing in California, but not middle schoolers. I have adults. Andragogy versus pedagogy. Check it out. It's another one of my memes out there. All right. Talk to you later.